Dangerous debris, projectiles flying into cars on Houston freeways. Now it has happened again, and the driver of this car says he's lucky he survived it. It's a story you'll see only on two tonight, something that really could happen to any one of us. In this case, it was a piece of pipe that flew right off of a truck. The driver says he was north of downtown on the 45 HOV lane when it flew right into his windshield. Channel 2's Ryan Korsgaard spoke with that driver who is still pretty shaken up. Ryan? Yeah, he told me he had no idea of where it came from. He said it simply zoomed by and ended up in the back seat. This is what Peter Matthews windshield looked like after this giant steel piece of pipe flew right through his window on the way to work Wednesday morning. I was going 65, 70 miles an hour and a piece of pipe came from the left hand side. It was kind of like a, I just saw a blur coming at me and heard like a ping and it came through the windshield, hit me in the shoulder and went on into the back of the car. It happened as he drove on the 45 HOV lane in from spring to his office downtown. Um, I mean, I was stunned when it first happened. I just slowed down. <laughs> he was trying to think, should I pull over? Should I, but I was in the HOV lane, so there's really nowhere to pull over. And so I just slowed down to 30 miles an hour, put on my blinkers and drove slow in. He was afraid that broken glass would blow into his face. He knows the outcome of this story would have been much different had the giant steel metal coupler that his 10 year old son held for us actually hit his windshield just a few inches in his direction. Yeah, I, would, uh, I wouldn't be standing here. His car is now in the shop. He will put a film on the new window to try and make it stronger. He's thankful that he survived this flying piece of steel so he could safely return home to his family. I just feel lucky to be alive. I think I escaped uh, death. And he does have one request. He asks that you make sure your load is nice and secure because keep in mind, it could be the difference between life and death or live today. Ryan Korsgaard, KPRC, Channel 2 News.